Welcome to BrickFlix. Today, we'll be talking about Pirates of the Caribbean, and more specifically, the Flying Dutchman and the crew of Davy Jones. First, we have Davy Jones, the captain of the Flying Dutchman, and my personal favorite character from Pirates of the Caribbean. Expertly performed by Bill Nye. Davy Jones was the ruler of the Seven Seas, a supernatural force condemned for eternity to captain the Flying Dutchman. Once a mortal man, Jones became as much sea as he was human, a fearsome captain, a ruthless and heartless beast, striking terror into the bravest of sailors and the devil of the deep. He became the stuff of various myths and legends. He was known for captaining the Flying Dutchman and condemning any of his enemies to the depths of Davy Jones's locker. Captain Jack Sparrow is, of course, the most famous victim of Davy Jones's locker. Before Davy Jones was all, technically, he was a Scottish sailor sailing the seven seas, who fell in love with the sea goddess Calypso. She cursed him to sail the Flying Dutchman and ferry the dead across to the afterlife. With this curse, he could only step on land one day every ten years. After ten years, she agreed to set him free of the curse, but when he came back and couldn't find her, he helped the pirate lords bound her into mortal bones. Calypso now went as Teodama, and Davy Jones no longer agreed to ferry souls to the dead. And that's when he became more creature than he is man. With the curse, he, him and his crew became immortal, and he had to carve his heart out. The only way to kill him was to stab the heart, which he had hidden in a chest, that could only be unlocked with a key that he kept with him at all times. He died the year 1729, killed by Will Turner aboard the Flying Dutchman, during the Battle of the Maelstrom. Davy Jones didn't just have the help of his crew, but also the help of the Kraken. It has claimed the lives of dozens of sailors over the years that it has served Davy Jones. Commanded by Lord Beckett, Davy Jones was forced to kill the Kraken. Enough about Davy Jones. Now let's talk about all his known crew that have served him. Going in alphabetical order, starting with Angler. Not much is known about Angler. All we really know is that he served the Flying Dutchman. Once again, the only thing we really know about Brunjagen is that he served the Flying Dutchman. One of the more well-known members of the crew is Clanker. He used a chain shot and axe in battle, and at one point even stole Jack Sparrow's pistol. Next is Crash. The most notable thing about him is his sawfish bone sword. Then, Fauntleroy. Next is Finnegan. Again, we don't really know much about him. Then there's Greenbeard. He was mostly always seen operating at the helm of the Dutchman. Hadras, a more notable member of the Flying Dutchman, most famously fought in the Battle of Isle Crucis, where he had lost his head. He spoke Cantonese, possibly indicating to his place of birth. A crew member that people usually don't think of as a member of the Flying Dutchman is the helmsman, on the ship that is now called the Scuttled Ship. The Scuttled Ship is the ship that Will goes on where he first meets Davy Jones and his crew. It's on this ship where the helmsman agrees to serve Davy Jones. Next is Igmar. He only appears in At World's End and uses an axe as a weapon. Jelly also only appears in At World's End and takes on the creature of a jellyfish. Hence the name. Jimmy Legs was the bosun aboard the Flying Dutchman. He was known as a harsh taskmaster and took sadistic pleasure in demanding the impossible from crew and dealing painful punishments when they failed. Kaliniku served as the ship's primary navigator and took order on the ship alongside Jimmy Legs and Mackis. Mackis was another notable member of the Flying Dutchman. He was the first mate to Davy Jones. After Jack's death in the second movie, Mackis remarked that not even Jack Sparrow could best the devil, referring to Davy Jones. 
Man Ray only appeared in At World's End and commonly used a sword or an axe. Then there's Mori, who obviously took the appearance of an eel. Ogilvy was the head gunner on the Flying Dutchman. Then there's Old Hattie. Then there's Urchin, who commonly used a mallet as a weapon. Then there's Palfico, who is Davy Jones's bodyguard and took the appearance of Fire Coral. Penrod was a small lobster-like crewman serving aboard the Flying Dutchman and used a club as a weapon. Then there's Piper. He was almost entirely covered in tube coral, and he commonly used a war hammer as a weapon. Quittance commonly used a cutlass and an axe. Ratlin used an axe, a fishing hook, and a flintlock pistol. As the name suggests, two head had two heads. They were conjoined crew members, and they used a cutlass. Wheelback, as his nickname implies, has a ship's wheel embedded into his back. He commonly used a club and a hook as a weapon. Then there's Wyvern, who became part of the ship itself. He even gave key information to Will Turner on how to get the key and where it was. Previous member of Jack Sparrow's crew and father of Will Turner, Bootstrap Bill Turner was another member of Davy Jones's crew. Technically not a member of the crew, Lord Beckett did, however, gain control of the Flying Dutchman and Davy Jones himself which technically means the British Royal Navy became a member of the Flying Dutchman for a while, which included Murtaugh and Mulroy, of course. Will Turner also became the captain of the Flying Dutchman after the events of At World's End, though his curse would be set free in the fifth movie. Though never became a part of the crew, Captain Jack Sparrow almost did, even hallucinating himself being a part of the ship similar to Wyvern. If I sounded a bit congested today, that's because I am, so sorry about that.